Well, it's late August here, and that means it's time to start decorating for Halloween. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 Halloween. Hey, if other people can start decorating for Christmas two months early, I can start decorating for Halloween two months early. Well, the other day I saw a tutorial on how to create uh, your own tentacle props using pool noodles. And while I really liked the result, I really hated the method that they used. So naturally I thought to myself, hey, I can do it better and cheaper. So here I am putting my too little money where my too big mouth is. And without further ado, let's jump right in and get onto uh, how to make your own tentacle props using pool noodles. For this project, you will need pool noodles in multiples of three, duct tape, a large knife, wire coat hangers, plastic wrap, large bubble wrap, spray on glue, and several shades of spray paint. So the first thing you're gonna do is bundle the pool noodles in groups of three, and then you're gonna stagger them so that they're at slightly different lengths. And this is gonna help the uh, tentacle come to a pointed tip at the end. Now we're gonna bundle them together with duct tape. Now you're gonna trim one end so that they're all at the same length. Uh, that'll help it sit flat wherever you decide to mount it. Now the other end, you're going to trim so that it kind of tapers to a, a sort of point. Take the coat hangers, you're going to cut one end, and you're going to straighten them out. Basically one long wire with one small hook at the end. Now you're gonna insert one of these coat hangers into each one of these pool noodles, and we're gonna dig that hook right into the foam. With that wire inside, the tentacles will now be somewhat bendable and poseable. Now we're gonna wrap the entire bundle in plastic wrap uh, from top to bottom. You wanna make sure that you're leaving no foam exposed. Uh, this is going to become extremely important when we're painting them because spray paint and foam do not mix. bubble wrap is going to form the suckers on the bottom of the tentacle. Uh, I'm going to cut out the bubble wrap into roughly the same shape as the tentacle. And uh, you want to make sure that when you cut, you're cutting in between the bubbles instead of just straight across. It'll give it a much nicer uh, finished look at the end. We're going to spray the back of the bubble wrap with spray on glue and stick it onto the tentacle. So now that the glue is dry, it's time to paint. I found this old uh, broomstick in my garage, and it happens to fit inside the pool noodles perfectly. So I cut it into these little wooden stakes, I hammered one into the ground, which I'm going to use to hold the noodle upright, 
And I'll probably use those for mounting them in my yard too, come closer to Halloween. So these are the colors I'm going to be using, and you can really use any kind of colors you want. Uh, like black fading to shades of gray would probably be pretty cool to watch. Uh, red fading to like flesh tones would probably be pretty horrifying. Uh, but for this year, I'm just going old school. I'm going to do a dark green fading to kind of a lime green, and then a white on the underside where the tentacles are. I'm by no means a great artist, and you can get as creative and as detailed with these as you want, but uh, I really like the kind of simplicity of this. I think it looks good from a distance. I'm happy with the results, so we'll go ahead and let the paint dry, and that's all there is to it. Now I think these things have a wonderful kind of Lovecraftian vibe to them, and I mean they look great uh, sticking up out of the ground, or sticking out of a tree, or out from under a car or attacking a Japanese schoolgirl, uh, you know, anywhere you'd expect to find tentacles. If you like this tutorial, like, share, and subscribe. We do a ton of projects every Halloween, so drop us a comment if you'd like to see more. Enjoy, and have a wonderful Halloween.